I take notes that I like to uh, screen record. This is a time where you might want to screen record. So again, excuse me, y'all. I'm about to get started. I'm not repeating any of this. You feel me? So if, if the title is something that interests you, then you might want to listen up. Or just throw your screen record on so if you miss it, you're still good to go. So today, y'all, and I'm, I'm going to get this disclaimer. To some of y'all, this is going to be extremely basic. I know this. But no, seriously, though, to some of y'all, it's going to be extremely basic, but to some people, it's absolutely not. And to some of y'all, the, the thinking aspect or the, the understanding process is going to be basic, but the application is not. Hear me good. For some of y'all, it's going to be basic. For some of y'all, it's not. For some of y'all, this conversation is going to be like, oh, I know that. But the question is, do you apply that? Do you act on that? Do you know how to create a plan of action to like really exercise that? So, um, and I'm gonna let y'all know too, if everybody on here, if you slept last week on getting your post recession pack, uh, I posted it earlier. Everybody that grabbed theirs today was able to use the discount code recession to get 50% off for the people that slept. I think that was sometime last week. It was like four or five days last week. It was 50% off. But anyway, if you type in reception, reception. If you type in recession, all caps, <laughs> you're going to get 50% off. I want to say this too. Um, what I'm about to read read to y'all is something that you will read in the pack. So that's why I just, I want to get make that clear. I'm not reading all of this. If y'all want to invest in yourselves, go with your move. If you don't, shit, go with your move. I'm going to be sitting in the same bathroom with that window in the back in this big ass house chilling today, tomorrow, and the day after. Uh, but let's get into it, y'all. Let's work. All right, so number one, number one, things you need to know about money. Budgeting. I know, I know, I know it's 200 y'all right now, like, nigga, duh. Nah, it's a little, it's it's a little more to budgeting because a lot of people will say duh, but don't know how to budget worth the fuck. Uh, a lot of you guys have had the same buying power. And I say this with love too, y'all, because it's been years where I was fucked up or I made poor decisions and I had the same buying power back to back, but... The point I'm making is some of, some of us are in our late 20s and 30s, and we have the same level of buying power that we had at 17. So I I I, I get it. You get the term budgeting, but you don't really you clearly don't know how to act on it because your money still spend the way it did when you was 18. You got the same credit limit. You got the same amount of cash. You got the same amount of assets. If we're gonna be all the way thorough, more than 50 percent of the people who are between these two platforms, biggest accomplishment since high school was either a degree or a baby. Just being real. Most people do not have any individual accomplishments, any any internal accomplishments, any generational changing accomplishments. On the average, most 30 to 40 year olds you're going to meet, their biggest accomplishment is either going to be a degree that they got that's outdated, that ain't worth a fuck, or, yeah, man, I fucked around and had seven kids. But other than that, ain't a lot, ain't, you know, it's not a lot going on, y'all. So budgeting is a real thing. Let's break it down. Though. All right, y'all, number one with budgeting. And I'm not going to read everything under budgeting because I got, y'all, I got hella steps. I broke down budgeting, but I'm going to read a couple of them. Number one, track your income and expenses. Start by calculating your total income from all sources and then track your expenses for a month or two to get a clear understanding of where your money is going. Categorize your expenses. So you may have housing, you may have entertainment, you may have utilities. Shit like this is super important for a lot of people, y'all. You need to break that shit down into subcategories so you can really look at what you're doing on the daily and where your money is going. Y'all, I can't, and this was me. I used to do this shit too when I was younger though. I was a teenager. I don't know why motherfuckers wait till they get home to count their money. Drop a one if you guilty. I know I've been guilty multiple times. I go motherfucking spend all day, swipe, swipe, cash, cash, and then get home, empty my pockets and be like, one dollar? How the fuck I got one dollar? Nigga, you got 17 bags. You know why you got one dollar. You literally know, you know one thing. Nigga, you felt the weight of the bags on your arms when you walked in the house. Bro, you know why you got $1. But again, so y'all, this, this is the part where we practice willful ignorance. Because we be knowing better. That's why we count the money after the fact. This is where we practice a word called escapism. 
because we be knowing we need to stack this bread, but it, but it, it's easier to buck your responsibilities and go do shit that feels good. Even though it's temporary gratification because when Monday hit, you still gonna have them bills hovering over your head. But it feel good to go fuck it up on instant gratification. It feel good to go fuck it up on a meal. It feel good to go fuck it up on an outfit. Now you you might you might be out your you might be kicked out your motherfucking house by Tuesday, but you got that outfit. Y'all is willful ignorance. So I, I want to tell y'all first and foremost, give yourself some credit because y'all really not dumb, and a lot of you are more financially literate than you give yourself credit for. You don't have discipline. You fucked up because you're not disciplined. You fucked up because you don't know how to fast. You fucked up because internally you don't know how to detach from. My bad, John. What's that? Because internally you don't know how to detach from. You know your your necessity for materialism, so it fucks you up in other categories. But yo, you got plenty of fucking sense. You just count your money after the fact. Next one, set financial goals. Determine your short and long term financial goals. These could include saving for a down payment on a house, paying off debt, starting an emergency fund, or planning for retirement. I want to pause on that real quick, y'all. Emergency funds are so fucking important. Especially in times like now, where we're knee deep in a recession. Yo. Okay, so for the people that don't know, an emergency fund is just you, you know, simply having... This is why you got to track your expenses, but you basically get an overall of what your life costs on a monthly and times that shit by three. You feel me? So if the world ever blow, job shut down, whatever the case is, you know for 90 days, the family's straight. Drop a one if right now you can use an emergency fund. I ain't gonna lie y'all shit, I could use one. Like I'm, I'm not gonna die without it. My family's still gonna be okay, but I, I could use one. I could use a couple extra hundred thousand. But the point I'm making is, y'all, like, if we practice preventative maintenance and we was knocking shit like this out prior, a lot of y'all wouldn't be under the pressure, y'all. Under, hey, drop a money bag if during this year and this season, y'all done, y'all done sat back and recollected what you spent your money on and been like, damn, dog, I should have did that better. Damn, I should, I shouldn't have bought that shit the other day. I knew I shouldn't have bought that shit back in November. I knew I shouldn't have went out loud for Christmas. Yeah, y'all like emergency fund. Because your listen, your emergency fund gonna hold you accountable. Your emergency fund gonna smack your motherfucking hand when you go do some dumb shit. Like, all right, nigga. Don't forget now what happened last time. Y'all, you know what's so crazy? I had the same conversation with motherfuckers during the pandemic. I don't know if anybody remember this. If you do drop a one, but some of y'all don't, some of y'all will. Who who cares? I'm gonna just say it again. I remember teaching motherfuckers in the pandemic and I said, y'all, don't think for a moment that no shit like this can't ever happen again. And y'all gonna be sitting in the same fucking spot on your dick again, like, goddamn, here it is again. We not necessarily in the pandemic, but the streets is fucked up. I literally remember saying this shit multiple times, like, bro, heed this information while you can. The, 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 the fucking game don't stop. It ain't gonna slow up. Like, it's gonna... And y'all, even right now, the game gonna fuck up again. Y'all gonna have a good run. We all gonna have it. I'm gonna have a good run. We gonna ball out. We gonna do our thing. And then shit gonna go belly up again. And then motherfuckers gonna buck the same information, the same conversation. And you're gonna be back living a struggle. Unfortunately. Because it is unfortunate, y'all. Because like I said, like, give yourself some credit. Y'all motherfuckers ain't dumb at all. Y'all not crazy worth a fuck. Y'all, we just lack discipline. We be lazy. We practice escapism. It happens to the best shit. I, I do it at times, y'all. It happens to the best of us. But I'm just telling you from like my perspective and somebody who who got a lot of resources and opportunities that a lot of other people don't. Y'all, and I'm not saying this from a flexing standpoint. I'm saying like, y'all, I'm not playing right now. Why the fuck is you playing? Like, we just being real. Like, I don't know y'all lives, but y'all seen enough of my life to know like, all right, me and bro financial status may be different. Like he kind of up here and I'm I'm still working my way up. But the niggas that's that's getting the paper and the assets ain't playing. So the niggas that don't got none, why the listen, the, the signs is in front of you. Like the, the millionaires ain't playing. The niggas that's running up bags ain't playing. Why the fuck is the niggas that's only making fifty thousand a year playing? Y'all, nobody should be playing right now. Everybody should be fasting. Everybody should be anchoring their motherfucking boat and, and, and doing the best they can to make it through this storm. Because that's all it is, y'all. It's, it's a temporary storm. It's going to blow by a couple months. I tell everybody this. If you pay attention to the presidency, every time um, the motherfuckers, is, 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 it's an election year, the money is in abundance. And it, I don't say every time, but a lot of times it's in abundance. And that's typically because 
these presidential candidates are going to do certain things to try to sway that vote and it look like they the motherfucker to put in office. I promise you, y'all, the bread going to be back flowing. I give it maybe six months at this point. We halfway through the year. I, I give it to December, January. Motherfuckers going to be popping again. When you popping again, y'all, please set up your emergency fund this time. So when shit get real out of nowhere again, you like, all right, cool. I at least got 90 days. Take it easy. I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to pressure myself. I'm going to come up with a plan of action to, 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 to create a continuation of this 90 day money that we got. I'm going to be real. You know why a lot of y'all shit not clicking right now? This is why a lot of y'all shit not clicking right now. Y'all are under financial pressure. So because y'all under financial pressure, a lot of y'all are trying to create on the fly and that ain't even your style. But because like y'all, y'all don't be interested in things like emergency funds when shit go belly up, you fucked. And not necessarily fucked in that instant, but you really got your back against the wall working against the clock because you're trying to figure this shit out in real time because you don't practice preparation whatsoever. So y'all like that shit affects everything. It's a trickle down effect. Tell me I'm like, like, yeah, I'm not the only one. Like when that bread fucked up. Because we live in a society that strictly ran off violence and bread, that shit directly affects us. It affects our mental health. It affects our creativity. It affects our peace. It affects our solitude, our sanctuary. Motherfucking being able to meditate and slow down your mind, that shit affects everything. And again, I say this too. I empathize with people because that's not all your fault. You live in a country that's built off the dollar. And they, hey, remember I be telling you all the time, but because a lot of y'all are not self-aware, you haven't picked that part up. You still looking at money as a means to materialism. No, nigga, money is a means to like make it in America. It's bigger than materialism. Money gets you resources in America. Money gets you access. Money gets you peace. Money gets you freedom. Money gets you solitude. Money gets you big old pieces of land that you put gates around and guns and shit. And niggas can't come on unless they want to die. That's what money gets you in America. Y'all still be trying to get the money to go buy a fucking outfit. Boy, don't nobody care about that shit. Nigga, snatch you up out of them clothes and hide you somewhere. Your children can't eat that shit. Your children, they can't go nowhere and leverage like daddy had to drip back in the 2020s. We don't give a fuck. So did him and like 8 trillion other niggas that got no motion and no buying power right now. Get out. All right, let me keep going, y'all, before, before we stay on that one too long. Here's another one, y'all. Differentiate between your needs and your wants. Differentiate between essential expenses, a.k.a. your needs, AKA your needs and discretionary expenses, your wants. Focus on covering your needs for searches such as housing, utilities, food, and transportation, and then allocate funds for the bullshit. I got to answer a question real quick. Somebody said, why are you getting so skinny? Because I've been putting in that word, sis. I just seen a young lady say, uh, mental health check. You look like you're going through it. Sis, I am amazing. I've been up since three in the morning. I had to jump up and catch a flight from Georgia to Florida. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm back and forth, but uh, I'm currently fasting, right? So until I get to a certain weight, because I hold myself super accountable, I'm not allowed to cut my hair. I'm not allowed to shave. I'm not allowed to put on clothes. I'm not allowed to go out to eat. I'm not allowed to treat myself to absolutely anything until I get the body that I claim I want. So because I like genuinely love myself and love is an action word, I'm like starving out my lower self right now and I'm just focusing on my higher self. So my lower self like might want to get this shit done every week to look good like other motherfuckers or, or you know, things of that nature to keep up with the Joneses of, you know, how one should put that shit on. We not we not worrying about none of that right now. You feel me? We steadfast. We locked in. We we super disciplined right now. We fasting like a motherfucker. And I'm going to tell you, too, like just mentality wise. A lot of niggas going to get their first bag and going to go pop out and do the most is I'm going to go. I'm going to continue to invest in my video game. And I say this all the time, like some niggas going to ball for a weekend. Some niggas going to ball for a lifetime. I'm one of those people that y'all going to see ball for a lifetime. I'm one of those people y'all going to see my children in 20 years and be like, damn, them niggas still balling. I'm one of the people that like our grandchildren going to bump into each other. And then they're like, man, them niggas still balling. Because when, you know, when everybody else was caught up in the look and the trends and things of that nature. I just was nestled up in my big ass house, minding my business. No haircut, no fun, no clothes, no no hanging out, no none of that. Nigga, we sitting still. One last thing I'm gonna say about my fasting, and I, I hope this resonates with the other people out there that feel this way about themselves. But a lot of y'all don't like the body that you see when you take them fucking clothes off. 
My nigga, you got no business buying clothes. Why are you covering up some shit that you don't like? Why don't you just focus on your insecurities and go take your ass outside and get active? Why don't you just, you know, be disciplined and like take your ass to somebody's gym or stop eating the bullshit that you've been eating? So that's where I'm at in my journey, sis. I'm at, I actually feel absolutely amazing. I'm down. I'm, I'm at 217 pounds. I have dropped 26 pounds in a month and a half. I'm a bad motherfucker. And I don't need no nigga to get up every day and motivate me. I don't need no nigga to be in my ear. I am self-disciplined. I, I ain't fucking these days because I'm, I'm so... I, I'd be doing a little fucking. But, you know, I'm not fucking these days because I'm so locked in and, and, and getting my shit together. So, yeah. While everybody else out struggling, looking like zombies in the middle of the recession, I'm going to pop out. And I'm going to treat myself real good when I get to 200 pounds. I'm going to treat... Look, you'll know. Hey, mental health, check me then. Because Dominican poppy going to be out, outside and active. And I'm popping all type of shit. But yeah, so just to answer your question, listen, the mental health is on a thousand right now. My discipline is on. Tell y'all some real shit, and then I'm going to get back to the conversation. Y'all, the only two things that I felt like I still struggled with in life was food and sex. I have conquered those two things in the last, like, four months. I turned down pussy for a living, and I can turn down any type of food. Or I can, I can like, channel my mind and be like, bro... Smoothies, juices, salads. Y'all like my last fast was 40 days. The fast I just got off of with eating was 40 days. Did I was I perfect throughout? Hell no, I had a couple times I cheated. But 40 days. Like and, and we and we cold turkey. We just wake up and want to evolve and be dope with people. So we just be like, hey, you know what? Fuck all that shit we used to do. We ain't doing none of that shit for the next six months. And then we just take up. So yeah, sis, the mental health is on a thousand. Hey, y'all remember when Forrest was running? Y'all remember Forrest had conquered everything in life. That nigga was like, I'm just going to run. That's why.